Welcome back to Obermatt Stock Investing. Today we are looking at the Euro Stocks 50. That's easy because you want to invest in Europe, you want to invest 5,000 francs each time, and the Euro Stock 50 gives us the largest companies in Europe. This is a very safe bet. Let's have a look at what are the interesting companies in Europe. Um, I scroll all the way down to the combined investment strategy. I think it's a good starting point because it takes into account value, you know, as the most important factor, but also a little bit safety and growth. What do we see here? We see a lot of German companies. Not a surprise right now with the exhaust scandal, Germany is a little bit in a, has a little bit of bad reputation. In addition, we see Germany in the news because of all the refugees. And you would think this is actually good for Germany because they're doing something good. But most people think it's actually bad for Germany. Now, I completely disagree. I think a million new people that all want to work and contribute to the German society will be a huge benefit economically to Germany. So I like to invest in Germany. I think it's a really good opportunity. Let's have a look what we have here in Germany. I don't want to go after the car markets, car manufacturers, because um, I think the world is going digital and electric and I can't see them yet doing that. I don't want to go into uh, reinsurance too complicated for me, um, also not in oil, as I said just recently. But here we have something really interesting, multi-utilities. RWE is a large German energy conglomerate and will definitely benefit from a booming Germany with all the refugees making their contribution to the economy. So R RWE, RWE in German, is a company I would like to look at. I'm also tempted by Société Générale because right now the banks in Europe are depressed and I don't have a bank in my portfolio yet. And the, the numbers all look pretty good for Société Générale. But since I have here a company that I think I'd really like to have, RWE, let's have a look how it is and if I really like it. Well, I can see they are a top focus stock, so also in the focus markets, sound incentives probably is where they are included. Um, let's have a look at the website. Let's look at the ranks quickly. Nothing special there. Well, the growth is low, uh, especially because of low stock returns, but the revenues are actually growing. So it's a good sign, you know, because stock returns eventually will follow the growth of the company. Let's have a look at RWE. I can click here. Let's see what they do. Uh, make that English for you. And they're investing a lot. Let's see what Investor Relations has to say. What do I see here? Um, first, I see that the CEO is leaving. That might or might not be a good indication, but it still is an indication for change. I like this here, company presentation, transforming RVE, RVE. Let's look at what they're saying here. Um, entering the next stage, they want to have a new focus. I read here a little bit, I read this and I haven't seen yet. Uh, that's what they want to do on page three. Uh, they want to be a leading European utility. They want to keep the conventional power, but they also want to invest in new energy with a listing even. That sounds like a lot of activity. And they want to invest in this new company. So they're, they're planning on launching a company on the market that is focused on renewable energy. They are in a market where there are lots of young, new people eager to contribute and make a living there so that they can have a better living than they had before. I really like that. So I go to my private banking account, my brokerage account, 
And the first thing I want to do, I want to show you that last week I actually bought Total Produce. Remember, I couldn't buy it online. It was not listed in the e-banking system. So I made a phone call. I pay a little bit more, but they then purchased the shares for me. At least that's what they said. Let's have a look at Total Produce. Yes, it's down here. Total Produce, I bought it, 3,000 shares at 111 British pound. Very good, I bought that. And it means we can move on. Let's go back to the dashboard. Dubai, RWE, RWE, RWE. I search for it. I say buy. I wait for the engine to find me the results. I have bonds to buy, options and shares. Also shares without any voting power. So I just buy the normal shares. Um, a limit, I don't want to give a limit. I have to decide how many shares I want to buy. Let's see, it's 12 euros, it's about 15 francs. Let's divide 5,000, which is what I want to invest by 15. And it's 333, what a funny number, should I buy 333 or should I buy 300? It doesn't really matter. I like the company, I like the number three. Let's buy 333. I don't put a limit, I just say at market because I'm buying for the long term. I don't want to come back and worry I haven't bought it and then buy at a higher price. So let's just buy it. Let's buy the RWE stock. It confirms me yet what I have to do and I confirm. So new sell order, I go back to the dashboard. Okay, that was it. We bought RWE, a German industrial conglomerate, because I believe in the future of Germany, with all the new labor from the refugees, it's going to be a prosperous future. Thank you very much for being with us, and good luck with your own investing. Bye-bye.